Hey everybody, it's CJ Johnson. For those of you who have been following the channel, you know that I injured my back and I have been struggling to get healthy again for the last several weeks. And unfortunately, it's kept me from playing pickleball. But my friend, and as well as my chiropractor, and he's a certified strength conditioning coach, Dr. Norman Sussman, has been helping me. So we decided to shoot this video so that we can help you too. So Norm, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about keeping our lower backs healthy as we age? So there's a lot of, you can go Google what the core is and spend a lot of time looking at that. But for our intents and purposes, we're dealing with everything from the armpit down to the pelvis, okay? Because forces come through the middle of the body, both in the front, the sides, and the back. And as a racket sport and somebody who's um, you know, heavy on the legs, we got to make sure that our forces are coming through our core. And our goal is going to be endurance. I want, as a pickleball player, I need to do what I can to not just view my athleticism with skills and techniques, but I want to be able to encourage endurance um, of my core, of my low back stabilizers in order to last in the game and last when the game maybe is played later in the day or you're in a pickleball tournament that may be a weekend or longer and, I, and it just so happens that my game is later in the afternoon or in the evening do I have what it takes because it's not you know a 9 a.m. 8 a.m. start so Norman he just started playing pickleball but he already knows that so many of us are addicts and we spend so much time at the court we need to work on our endurance yeah. to stay out there and to stay healthy So here we are, CJ, our first exercise is going to be the curl up. We're going to keep one knee bent just like this, we're going to drop this leg flat onto the ground. Now even though it's called a curl up, I'm not going to do a traditional crunch where I'm looking, uh, I'm curling up, trying to bend as like a little ball coming up. What I'm going to do is keep a fairly neutral spine, I'm going to act as if I have a board behind my head all the way down to my hips, and I'm going to rise, basically maintaining that neutral position of the spine. It's going to flex, that's okay. But I want to limit, I'm done with my ability to come up once I feel the spine is starting to bend, okay? Mm -hmm. So I have my hands behind my head, cradling the neck, no chin poke, no dropping the chin. So here it is, I come up, perfect, and back down. So to start, we're getting used to the exercises, we crank out a few reps, this is looking good. And time, good. So I'm seeing maybe six reps, eight reps, I'm not cranking it. The next thing, because we want to build our endurance, we're going to work isometrically. What does that mean? I come up and I hold a one, two count, back down, come up, let's go to a three count, one, two, three, back down, there it is. So I'm bringing myself up and I'm building my endurance by holding the contraction and then releasing. Nice job. Okay, CJ, next exercise is our side plank. So I get, hate these, you know that, right? Of course, that's why we're going to do them right now. So we're going to set this up with you in the center of the mat. You have your ear, shoulder, hip aligned with your knees. The legs are flexed at the knees. I'm maintaining this nice straight line, neutral position, hand and arm is under you. You're going to use your hand to press up and then down. Here it is, we get it again. And back down. Nice. So this is the basic one, this right? This is the basic and relax. Now I know CJ is a strong athlete who's earned her progressions with the side plank, with the exercise she's learning to love. So we're going to put the hand now on the hip and she's going to come up again in this, with the knees on the ground and back down. Super job. So now that she's able to do this with quality of movement, we're going to earn the progression of straightening the legs out. So she's got her feet stacked and made in the same line. She's going to come up and down. Nice job. And relax. For the pickleball player, I would encourage you to go with the hand up into the air as she does the side planks. That helps out with shoulder stability and back down. Nice. So now she's working her right arm, she's working her supportive arm and time. Good job. So here, the last progression on this one I would encourage you is when you come up, two beat count, four beat count, up and hold, uh, increasing your endurance by 
holding on each rep, back down, coming up and That's holding. without holding my breath, right? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Don't struggle with the breath, no headaches, and there you have it. Nice job, CJ. I still hate these, and now I have to do the other side, right? That's right. <laughs> All right, here comes the next exercise. Woof, woof, bird dog. Bird dog. <laughs> here it is. So we have the athlete, she's got her hands and knees on the mat, nice neutral sp spine. She's thinking, I'm set as a pickleball player, so she's gazing forward. Even though she's in this position, she's gazing, looking at the field of play, looking at the net, looking at the opponents, looking at her team, her uh, partner. So here we're gonna progress with arms coming out and back. So we're just going to work one side because of course you're going to do it on the other side. And this is nice. She's going from four points of contact to three. Once we complete the arm a few reps, we're going to go to the leg. So she's going to bring her leg out. That's it. Not crossing the midline of the body. She just sticks the leg out, brings the knee back down. Excellent. So we're looking for any kind of rocking or twisting in the back. We get one more rep here. Nice job, CJ, and time. Things to think about and look for. We want to make sure that we have integrity of the back and the core is nice and strong to be able to support her leg. Next, we're going to go with the arm and the leg. So she's earned this progression. We're now going to see the arm come out with the leg. Super job. So now she's going more complex. Four points of contact to two. Nice job, CJ. Now, because she's earned that, she's maintained her neutral spine, she's not rocking and rolling back and forth to try to leverage this lift with funky um, body movements, she's actually going to bring, now listen to this first, she brings out arm and leg, and she goes out to the side, down, in, up. This is the box, super job CJ. Here it is, bringing it back, and time, nice and relaxed. Now notice she had integrity and quality of motion, but let's say you needed to regress. It wasn't coming together. Let's show the regression. So she's going to bring her arm up, and here it is, out, down, in, up. So she's just starting with an arm. Nice job. She brings it down. She's going to start with just the leg. Out, down, in, up. Here it is. And time. Nice. Right. Great job, CJ. So that's the regression. Great, and that is not only going to test your muscles, it's going to test your brain. So now we're on to our fourth and final exercise, and this is one I struggle with as a professional athlete. I can't tell you how many times I'm in a competition and I hold my breath. So Norm and I have been working on this one, so why don't you tell everybody what it's all about? Sure, what ends up happening during um arousal, excitement in, in the match, I'm going to be breathing heavier and oftentimes I breathe higher into my lung field. So I want to make sure, use all the capacity I have for my lungs, but I want to make sure I'm drawing my breath low. So I'm taking breaths up high or shallow breathing, I'm destabilizing my low back. Okay. So this will help you not only stabilize the low back, but it will also help you recover. So in between matches or for a long tournament, I can get my head right, I can get my um, uh, oxygenate, my body oxygenated, blown off waste, if I get my respirations under control. So the progression here, I have one hand up top of my chest, I'm just making, this is perfect, and the other on my tummy. So all I'm doing is just breathing in and letting it go. Here it is, she's breathing into her hand, the hand is there to feel it. This is what it looks like if you're breathing high up into the chest. She's going to breathe, you'll see the hand movement, a lot of rib movement up top. We want to avoid this, this is what we want to avoid, okay? Both it's going to destabilize the low back and it's actually putting too much stress on my neck muscles as well as my upper shoulders, which shouldn't be part of respiratory activity. The breath should come from the diaphragm pulling down, abdominal contents being distended and relax. That's how you build a strong core every breath you take, every move you make. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the four exercises that we need to be doing, but don't leave us yet. Because Norm, when should we seek professional care? That's a great question. You want to seek professional care if your symptoms are increasing, or if you're not finding a comfortable position, or if you have any concerns based on your history, or the nature of the symptoms, I wouldn't hesitate. I would absolutely seek professional care.
So in other words, when in doubt, check it out. If you got value from this video, make sure that you give it a little thumbs up down below. If you got any questions, post them down in the comments and I will get Norm to answer them. Because you know what? Together, we can train smart, live bold, and age well.